adventure it's time to explore take a ride on the magic and see what's in store there's music and laughter and stories to share someone is knocking let's see who is there i'm emmett and i'll help you through come sit with groove and grand you can play with jip and faye and listen to the music man it's time for adventure it's time to explore take a ride on the magic and see what's in store there's music and laughter and stories to share come on step inside to our little house yeah come on step inside to our little house oh, i love our little house it's playtime Hello there, welcome to our little house. We're so glad you've come to play with Jeff and Faye because we have so many things to see and do today, don't we, Jeff? Jeff? Uh-oh, I think Jeff has flipped his lid. Let's go see. Hello, Jeff. Oh, hello, Faye. What are you doing? Down there, have you lost something? Nothing, nope. I'm just looking at life from a different point of view. Oh, good idea. I think I'll try it. Oh, hey, you're right. Everything is upside down. Right side up, upside down. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, Jeff, let's try this one. What? When I go up, you go down. All right? OK. Ready? Up, down. Up, down. Down. <laughs> gotcha. Well, let's try it again, Faye. Come on. Okay. All right. Oh, you do it too, all right? Okay. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Now I'm oh. sitting down. You're sitting down. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot the magic password. We oh, need that's today's easy. magic password. That's easy. The password is down. How did you know that? Because I read it right down there. C-D-O-W-N. Oh, you're right. It is right down there. Are you sitting down, lying down, upside down, downtown, down and out, and all that? Well, if you are, don't go away because when we come back, we're going on adventure time. And it's a hot day here at the Indy Track Races. The drivers have got their cars up to the starting gate and they're running their engines. The druggers are both buckled in tightly and they exchange one last look. They're waiting impatiently for the flag to be raised. The flag is raised and they're off down the speedway. Oh, crash, bang. That was exciting. This time I think I'll use the red and yellow dump truck. I'm going to use the yellow transport. Okay. How about you use the yellow front loader? Okay, I'll hold it for you. All right, here we go. And the drivers are at their starting blocks. And here we go. On the count of three, we go down. One, two, three, go! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Pile up. They send in the ambulance. And the, that other truck. The tow Ooh. truck. Oh, the ambulance wiped out. The tow truck did, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, do you hear what I hear? It's the clock. The clock is ticking. That means it's adventure time. Bye-bye, cars. It's been fun. Now it's time to run, run, run. What adventure are we going on today? We're going to the fish hatchery. It's going to be so neat. All right, the fish hatch a berry. Hatchery. That's what I said, hatchery. We're going to go see big fish and all kinds of little tiny baby fish. You mean just like fishy? No, these fish are different. These are the kinds you find in lakes and streams and rivers. Oh, boy, that sounds like fun. Well, bye-bye, fishy. We'll tell you all about our adventure at the fish hatchery when we come back. Do you have pockets? They can be real pockets like mine or pretend pockets like just. But if you can, put your hands in your pockets just like this. And don't forget to say the magic password. Down. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Magic coat, magic coat, take us away. Down is the password for today. Adventure time. Is this a fish hatcher berry? 
I guess so. Jeff! Hey! Hi. How are you? Hi. You must be the fish hatchery man. <laughs> yeah, my name's Greg. Oh, hi, Greg. Hi, Greg. Come on and see my pet fish. Fish. Wow, it's a goldfish, just yeah. like Fishy. Yeah. Her name's Pam. It's Hi. a girl. Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. You should meet Fishy. Oh. Ooh, Ooh. her water's dirty. Mm. Stinky, too. Oh, we better change it. She sure looks happier now, Greg. She's really happy. Hey, would you like to come and see a real big fish? Oh, sure. sure. Pam was a goldfish, but this big fish came from the river. Oh, wow. He's that's, a salmon. That's a really big fish. Look at sure that big is. fish. Do you know where fish come from? Well, sure, they come from the water. No, oh, that's where they live. Where do they come from? Do you know? Don't they come from eggs? You're right. Those salmon came from eggs. Would you like to go and see some eggs in our nursery? Yeah, sure. sure. Let's go. Look at this. Wow. See? Look. See the little black things in them? Mm hmm Those are their eyes. Their eyes? Oh. They're just about ready to hatch. Oh, really? What happens when they hatch? Well, come on, I'll show you. Oh. Look. These guys They're just little. hatched out. And oh, see? They're... They still got some food on their tummies. They're little fishies. What do they do with that food? I guess they eat it. Oh, they'll eat it, yeah. Here. Oh. I put some in a glass. Look at them. Wow. Well, what happens when they get a little bit bigger? Oh, come on over here and I'll show you. See these guys? They're starting to swim. They look just like fish now. Why are wow. they swimming up like that? They're hungry. They're looking for food. Let's oh. feed them. Here's some food. Would you like to smell fish it? Fish food. Ooh, do you want to smell this? Yeah. Doesn't it smell bad? Hey, Jeff, you want to feed them? Sure. There's one. He's oh. eating it. Oh, look. Wow. Boy. So are these the biggest fish we have in here? No, we got to go and see their cousins. Oh, can we see oh, them? Wow, cool. Let's go. These brown trout are one year older than the ones we just fed. We got lots of fish in our waters around here. We got bass, pickerel, salmon. Do you want to see some two-year-old trout are in here? Oh, wow, oh look fish. at them. They're big. Wow. Do you want to see if we can catch one? Yeah. Sure. Oh, you can almost get it. Got one. Oh, Holy, it's look so at him, nice. Man. He's a big guy. Look at that. Oh. 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 There you go. Do you want to see some more fish? Yeah, let's go. Sure. Bye. Boy, Mr. Fish Hatchery guy sure has a good job. All he does is sit there at that fish hatchery and watch the fish, and all they do is sit around and swim and eat and play. Kind of like you. Yeah, kind of like me. Except I play up here on land and they play down there in the water. Mm -hmm. oh. Hi, fishy. Boy, you should have seen all the fish we saw at the hatchery. There was brown ones and speckled ones and gray ones and black ones. And, and I, hey, do you hear music? I know that song. It's the music man up in the attic. Oh, he must be ready for our visit. Quick, over to the magic radio. Hold your horses, music man. We'll be there in a do re mi. I'll tune it into the music room. Okay. That's it. He's coming in loud and clear. Now all we have to do is say the magic password. Do you remember what the word is? Mm. Down. Yeah. Okay, now just cross your fingers like this. I'm crossing my knees too for extra good luck. All right. And one, two, three. Magic, magic radio, radio, magic radio, radio take, take us away. away. Down oh, is the, the password, password for today. Wow, the music room. Everybody. I'm so glad you could come and visit me in my attic today. Today I thought I'd talk to you about rhythm a little bit more. And I'm going to show you some drums today because that's what makes the rhythm is drums. Whenever you hear music, there's always drums in the background keeping that steady beat that we were talking about. Let me show you some of the ones I have. Over here, I've got a little set of drums that are attached together and they're called bongos. Try saying that word, bongos. Funny word, isn't it? 
You take bongos and you stick them between your knees and you squeeze them just a little bit. It's important to squeeze them because if you don't squeeze them and you hit them, they're going to fall on the floor. We don't want that to happen, do we? There's a big drum and a little drum. They each make a different sound, low and high. They sound pretty, don't they? Let's just try singing a little song with a bit of rhythm behind it. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now let me show you some other drums I have. They're right over here. Come on, come on. Look at these ones. These ones are really big. They're a lot bigger than little bongos. They're way too big to stick between your knees, but they work the same way. There's a big one with a low sound and a little one with a high sound. Pretty, isn't it? Isn't that great? Let's try roll, roll, roll your boat again. Oh, roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, we're gonna go over the big trunk and try and find something to play with. Okay, come on. As always in my big box, we got lots of things like you have around the house. So let's try and find something, okay? Let's see what's in there today. Okay, oh, losing my hat. Let's see, we got a coffee can. And what else is in here? Oh, I got a Tupperware thing. We could use some of these if you want. You can just sit down, put them in between your legs like this and play. That's lots of fun, eh? There's gotta be some other things we can use too. You could use a pot if you want, like this. You could sing a song, like, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Just remember, music is lots of fun, it's easy, and you can do it. We'll see you again. Bye-bye now. Oh, bye, blue. Faye? Mm-hmm? Do you think Fishy likes it down there, under the water? Well, he seems happy enough, don't you think? Mm-hmm. But how does he breathe? Mm. Mm. Well, he, he kind of, he, Emmett, Emmett would know. All oh, right. I hope he's in a good mood. He sounds in a good mood. Emmett, are you busy? Oh. oh, well, do I look busy? What's that? That's a clamshell. I was busy in my art studio making shell art when you called. Oh, oh, it's beautiful, Emmett. Where does it come from? I found it on a beach. A freshwater clam used to live in this shell. Oh. Under the water? That's right, Jif. This shell comes from the bottom of a lake. And the clam that used to live in it? Lived in the water? Yes, lots of things live in the water. Uh, not you or me, of course, uh, or you, we friends. We need air to breathe. When I breathe, I can feel myself puff up with air. Hey, so can I. Try this, Faye. Put your hand on your stomach, mm -hmm. just under your rib cage. Mm -hmm. If you're breathing properly, you should be able to feel your lungs puff up with air. Now breathe in. Can you feel it? Yeah, I can. So can I. Well, but how does Fishy breathe? Fishy breathes in water, Jeff, just like we breathe in air. Look closely and you'll see gills moving in and out, in and out on the side of his body. Hey, I see them. Hey, so do I. Well, that's how Fishy breathes. If you took him out of the water, he'd die. He would? Yes, he would. Fishy likes living under the water because that's where he belongs. Hmm. Don't you, Fishy? Oh, well, we saw lots of fish today at the fish hatchery. You did, eh? Did you see any speckled trout? Yeah. yeah. Rainbow trout? I think so. Uh, pickerel? Yeah. Bass? Mm hmm. Salmon? Mm hmm. Just imagine all those different kinds of fish living together. Yeah, with. With crabs and crayfish and and, 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 and lampreys and salamanders. Boy, there's lots of things that live under the water. And they come in all shapes and sizes, uh, just like people. Well, thank you for answering our questions, Emmett. We know you're such a busy elf. Uh, well, uh, back to my shell art. Uh, my glue is drying. <laughs> Au revoir, Faye. 
goodbye. Uh, goodbye, we friends. W what about me? What's that? Well, aren't you going to say goodbye to me? Uh, well, I don't like goodbyes. Let's shake. Okay. <laughs> Not your body, Jif, my boy, my hand. Oh, like friends. That's right, like friends. Well, come on, Jeff. Let's go see if Groove and Grant made some cookies. Magic cookies. Race to the cookie jar. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'll get the milk. I'll get the cups. You know what? I love visiting Grand's room and hearing a good story. Oh, she's the bestest storyteller. I wonder what her story will be today. Ooh, well, there's only one way to find out. Eat a magic cookie from the magic cookie jar. That's right. Here's a cookie for you. Thank you. And a magic cookie for me. Do you have a cookie? If you do, you can help us get to Grand's room. Just hold your cookie like this, and when Jeff and I take a bite, you take a bite too, okay? All right. Oh, and don't forget to say the magic password. Down. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Magic, magic cookie, cookie, magic cookie, cookie take, take us away. away. Down, Down is, is the password, password for today. today. Okay, eat your cookie. Mm. Mm. Grand room. Yeah. By the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea, you and I, you and I. Oh, hi, children. How are you today? Didn't recognize me, eh? You see what I'm wearing? A wetsuit. This is what you wear when you go deep sea diving. Oh, I'm going to tell you all about it, but let me first find my glasses. I have such a story to tell you, and it all began like this. My friends did come over just today, and they said, Grooving Gran, come on. Let's play. And I said, children, what should we do? And they said, Grooving Gran, we'll leave that to you. So I thought and I thought of things to be done. And then I thought, bingo, sea diving would be fun. So I got out my air tank, my goggles, and my flippers. And I put on my wetsuit and I did up my zipper. Then off to the ocean went my friends and me. We could hardly wait to jump into the sea. We jumped in the water and down, down we went. We passed a big sea sign that said, Sea Horses Port Rent. So we paid our sand dollar. We each got a horse. They came with a map so we could stay on course. The first stop we made was to the musical room where fiddler crabs fiddled and the choral was tuned. The clams all clammed up. I think I know why. They knew all the words they were just playing shy. The next stop we made was to the sea zoo to see what tricks the sea lions could do. We all became hungry so we stopped off for lunch at the seaside cafe. What had they to munch? A dogfish was our waiter. He brought us a plate of jellyfish sandwiches which we all quickly ate. While eating our lunch a catfish swam past. The dogfish spotted him. That dogfish was fast. There came a waiter with food on a tray. I called, look out, hurry, get out of the way. But uh-oh, too late. There was nothing I could do as the waiter stood standing, <laughs> all dripping with stew. And then out of nowhere, the octopus came and blew on his whistle and called them by name. Now look here, you dogfish and catfish, you too. This is a restaurant. It's not a sea zoo. Both of you say sorry. Both of you shake fins. It was wonderful to see that dog and catfish be friends. And so it was over, our day in the sea. The sunfish went down, starfish twinkled at me. My friends all said thank you for a wonderful day. We can hardly wait for the next time to play. So you see, children, there are wonderful treasures under the sea. We'll see you next time. Bye. What a nice story. Thanks, Gran. Did you see the way cat and dogfish shook fins? Just like Emmett and I? That means they're friends. Friends. Hey, somebody's at the door. 
Ooh, I wonder who it could be. I'll get it. I love surprises. Who's there? Waylon. Well, well, look, look who's, who's here. here. It's, it's Waylon. Waylon. Come on in, Waylon. Have a seat. Hey, Waylon, would you like some milk? Sure. Boy, this place is a mess. What were you doing? Playing hockey. Outside? Oh, I love hockey. Ooh, you know what? That's a really nice shirt. Where'd you get it? Wow. Santa. From Santa? Wow. You know what we were doing? We went to the fish hatchery today, and then, later on, Emma was telling us about how fish can breathe and how people can breathe just by going... Well, that's why I brought my compressor. Oh, really? Ooh, this, this is a compressor. Yep. Wow, ever wow. neat. What does it do? Helps loosen up the mucus in my lungs. Oh, to help mucus. you breathe? Yeah. What's oh. mucus? Spit. But, well, how come you have too much of that in your lungs? What? Because I have cystic fibrosis. Oh. oh, so sometimes you have problems breathing, right? Mm -hmm. And oh. this helps you? Mm -hmm. And this is a compressor. Well, hmm. can you show us how to use it? Okay. Oh, Here, cool. I'll move it over, and I'll plug it in, and you can show Jeff how you use this part, okay? Oh, okay. I look at all the wires and tubes and everything. Looks like a science movie. Okay, it's plugged in. Okay, so what do you do with this part? Oh, you put it on your nose and your mouth. Oh, and you breathe that in? Oh, can I see? Look at it. Oh, it's like fog. Ooh, wow, neat. So how long do you have that on your face? About 10, 20 minutes. 10, 20 minutes. Oh. Hmm. And how many times a day do you do this, Will? Twice. Twice a day? a day? Ever since you were a little kid, probably. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna... And this must be the medicine that helps clear the spit. That's our little house chime. Does that mean it's time to go? Yeah. Right. It's time for all of us to say goodbye. Let's put this stuff away for you. Yeah, I'm just rolling it up here. here now go. what are you going to go do? I'm going to go play hockey. Play more hockey? That's like okay. fun. You'll have to come over again, mm -hmm. Waylon. Yeah. It was really nice visiting Let's shake hands. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> Thanks again. Come Bye. again, Waylon. Yeah. Bye, Waylon. Bye-bye. Uh oh. Come on, Jeff. I'm coming. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. And remember, Jeff and Faye will be right here waiting for you at our little house. It's time for adventure. It's time to explore. Take a ride on the magic and see what's in store. There's music and laughter and stories to share. Someone is knocking. Let's see. I'm Emmett, and I'll help you through. Come sit with Groove and Grand. You can play with Jiff and Faye and listen to the music man. It's time for adventure. It's time to explore. Take a ride on the magic and see what's in store. There's music and laughter and stories to share. Come on, step inside to our little house. Yeah. Come on, step inside to our little house. Would you like to write to Jiff, Faye, Emmett, Groovin' Gran, or the Music Man? Simply address your letter to Our Little House, care of 165 Biggins Avenue, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, P6A 3T8. It's a wrap. <laughs>